Hello, YouTube. Uh, this morning, I discovered something really cool. Um, I don't know if you can if you'll turn around, but this Pandagara has little bumps on his face, and those are breeding tu are tubercles uh, that the boys get during breeding season. And I noticed, now that I'm looking and paying attention, that this guy also, let's see if that focuses, also has some little tubercles starting to develop on his face, um, which is pretty spectacular. Uh, these guys aren't known to breed in captivity, uh, so usually the captive bred ones are caught during the reproductive season, um, which is in kind of the high flow flooding season, and uh, then they, they spawn them inside. So I've been feeding lots of uh, foods. I feed chopped up mealworms. I give them nori algae. I give them some fish flakes. Um, there's a lot of other fish in here. So I've got some paradise fish. I've got um, some white cloud mountain minnows. I have some Goodia gracilis in here. Uh, so there's another Pandagara that keeps coming in and out of this cave. Now from my understanding, these guys are pebble spawners, so they spawn, ooh, that's a nice looking fish, but you're in the way, buddy. Uh, they spawn over top of the gravel. So I've added some bigger pieces of gravel here so that the eggs can potentially go underneath if they do spawn. There's one of my Goodia gracilis. Uh, so I just fed a bunch of stuff, so it's kind of messy in the tank. I'm I'm doing daily water changes now um, in the hopes that maybe that will uh, will trigger something. Um, there's some cucumber in there. Uh, either way, even if they don't breed, they're cool little fish. I've had these guys for a couple years now, um, and I really like them. That one has some little tubercles. So the other two, I have four. Two of them seem to have tubercles. This guy has the most. Uh, and then this one in here does not. I don't know if she, she'll come out. I'm assuming it's a she because there's no tubercles. That's kind of the way that you uh, ID them. Uh, and then there was another one back there that had a little bit of tubercles and the other one doesn't. So I will uh, keep you guys posted. I'm not, I'm a little bit excited but I'm pretty confident that they're not going to have babies. But it's, it's worth, uh, worth continuing to do what I'm doing since I'm stuck at home anyways. I've got time to do uh, daily water changes. I, I don't know what I would do if I got fry, if they would not get eaten because there's uh, some semi-aggressive fish in there. Um, I have pretty hard water. So they might not fertilize well uh, if they do spawn. Uh, I had put up this basket for other things. I'm hoping some of my gudeids will spawn and some of the fry so that they can get away. There's a mesh floating basket that I've made. I've got um, pearl weed up in there. I'm trying to keep the duck weed out, but it gets through. I've got some papyrus that I'm trying to use to hold so it out, but when I do water changes, it kind of splashes in again. Um, so yeah, just got a sponge filter in the back. I've been squeezing that out a bunch too. And so the mulm starts to resettle on the top and I've seen them feeding there. Uh, and then I've got a little, this was a reptile power head uh, that I've got to try to just add some flow. But this is probably one of my favorite tanks right now. Pretty cool tank. All right, see you later.